Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh Beaton, and I hope you are joining us from all around the world. Myself and Dane are about to embark on our five-day survival challenge into the African wilderness. We are very excited, but we're also very nervous. We're going in with no rifle, pretty much nothing to protect ourselves with, and we are a bit nervous about that. There are obviously all the members of the Big Five in the area that we will be using and surviving in. So we are, there's a good chance we will encounter elephant and lion and leopard and buffalo and rhino. Hopefully we can bring you some amazing, amazing footage of that. We'll be completely exposed and we hope you guys join us and I hope you enjoy the ride. Until then, cheers for now. Hi guys, yes, I'm Dane Kincaid-Smith and we're very excited to bring you our survival challenge that we're going on. Um, it's going to be quite nerve-wracking and uh, yeah, I hope we can actually you know, show you some good footage of us surviving and building shelters and traps and making fire and evading all the predators and yeah, you join us for the journey. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, good morning to all of you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So myself and Dane. Hello. <laughs> are heading out on our first survival challenge. Advice in your seatbelts as they say. And enjoy the ride. Alright. Cheers. Cheers for now. Okay, ladies and gents, we have been dropped off in the middle of the bush. As you can see, we're in a little drainage line at the moment, just getting our bearings. And yeah, don't know where we are, but our first goal will be to find or to build a shelter somewhere safe. Right. And there's Dane looking nice and camouflaged. Ready for and the adventure ahead. Animals are going to find it difficult to spot him in that gear. That Wait till gear. you see my jersey. I'll be blending in properly. So how do you feel? Absolutely over the moon. Eh? It's really a privilege to be here and yeah, just really excited and yeah, very excited to be in the bush. Big five. Yeah, we, as you can see, we've walked past elephant tracks. Okay, ladies and gents, so that's our shelter. So I just want to show you something quickly. If you come, maybe it's one, two, three, five, six. Okay, let's say about 10 meters. You see here some buffalo droppings. You can see where the dirt's been moved around a bit. And if you look at this branch, you'll see again there's nice mud caked on this branch, which means the buffaloes probably use it as a rubbing post which luckily for us means there must be surface water somewhere close by which we'll have to go and look for a bit later and then also right here pretty old elephant droppings but elephant droppings nonetheless and our shelter is just in there nice big elephant highway coming right past our shelter so not ideal but we are a few meters off of it and should be okay. Again, a good sign that there is water close by, so hopefully we won't have to work too hard for water. So when building shelters, it's obviously important to get it done quickly because it is a priority. The sun does set and we need to make sure that we are secure by the time the sun goes down. Because that's when the predators start to move around and we want to be completely organized by then. So a bit of work still to go, but we are getting there and we will check in with you later.
poked the vein. Went straight into my vein. Straight in there. Yeah, so it goes in the bush sometimes. The thorn went straight in there. You can see the veins popping out a bit there. So this is the entrance, quite a wide entrance, and a little rest there that you can sit on. So that's pretty much what you would see from the inside. So you can see through, but it is pretty sturdy. It is actually quite sturdy. And that's the roof. Yeah. Okay, if you so. take a look around here. So obviously we were lucky with the fact that it is winter, so it's not the rainy season, so we didn't have to take rain into account when building our shelter. Obviously if you do this in summer, rain is going to be a factor, then you're going to have to spend more time on your roof and probably build an angled roof so that water can run off with a little catchment and then you've got water to drink as well. We didn't have to worry about that, there is no rain this time of year, or very rarely. So all we had to worry about was making our shelter sturdy enough to keep the predators out at night. So what we did, luckily this russet bush willow, the, the tea bush, was already growing with a perfect sort of structure already. So we just collected dead wood. We tried not to chop any wood, obviously just from an environmental wellness point of view. Packed the wood up vertically, close enough together, big thick heavy pieces. And then we couldn't find any acacia trees, thorn trees, which we would have liked to have. Built a thorn bush fence around our little shelter just to act as an extra deterrent for predators but what we did find were these um, young leadwood branches that have very useful spikes on them so we took that and we put that around as well just to act as an extra deterrent what you doing the old day now all right so we've <laughs> so we almost finished our shelter now and we have this tree um, a piney tree that's going to be our, our second escape route. So I'm going to give it a test run. So Dane's going to demonstrate. Go. I think this, this is a rather risky maneuver. I don't know if it'll take your immense bulk. <laughs> very, very ape like. Oh, there he goes. All right, so I'm at the top. And he is in safety. Well done. Can still go another two meters. So. Yeah, that's my spot. Yeah. Day. I don't see me getting up that tree. Huh? <laughs> well, they say you don't have to outrun the predator. You just have to outrun your friend. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we got this. Looks like quite a big elephant bull. A couple of meters from our shelter that we're busy building. We were interrupted. By this big boy coming along this pathway here. You can see a nice big elephant highway here. And he's busy browsing on the Mapani trees. So it's a, a good reminder to us that danger is never too far away. That we need to be careful at all times, even in the middle of the day. Now, when approaching elephants on foot, one needs to be very careful. This elephant, luckily for us, is a bull who tends to be a lot more relaxed than the cows with calves. You can see he's more curious than anything. He's trying to pick up our scent with his trunk. He's not showing too many signs of aggression. And unless the elephant bull is must, when he's pumping with hormones, they generally tend to leave you alone. Most animals instinctively fear the upright position of man. So the important thing is we weren't approaching him but we were standing our ground, he was making all the moves. So we gave him enough space to retreat, and as you'll see, eventually he did. So the crisis for now has been averted. Just a good reminder to always be safe in the bush and keep your eyes open as well as your ears. We had just fortunately averted a crisis and all of a sudden this big bull elephant appears out of nowhere as he came stumbling into our camp. Luckily for us, at this moment, he decided to, instead of turning left, he turned right and decided to retreat instead of push the boundaries and 
come closer. Another close call and another reminder to always be safe and awake.